In this video, we will learn how to code a custom animated scroll bar, just like here, just like you can see with React Native Free Animated and React Native Gesture Handler. And I got this idea from Katalin Miron, a really good React Native animator. And I saw here this animation on his Twitter account, and I thought I'm going to try to um, implement this myself. So this is going to be the tutorial about that. We're going to start off by creating a new React Native project. I'm just going to do this with the npx React Native init command. And I use a TypeScript template, but you don't have to use TypeScript if you don't want to. After that's finished, we are going to um, install the required packages. So we're going to be React Native Reanimated and React Native Gesture Handler. And don't forget to install pods on iOS. As part of the integration guide um, of React Native Reanimated in Android, we are going to import these two modules and then include this line in our getJSI module package method. Um, you can find all these uh, code lines and copy pasta in the installation guides I linked in the description. In your Android app source build grill, don't forget to enable Hermes. We also want to exclude reanimated and the React Turbo module from ProGuard. Don't forget to include the React Native reanimated plugin in your bubble config.js. It should be listed last. After cleaning up your TSX file, it should look something like this. Um, next thing we're going to do is implement some styles. We will need these later on. Then we're going to import the gesture handler root view from React Native gesture handlers. Uh, this is part of the integration guide. And then we will um, give them styles container. So they have flex one um, and everything inside is being shown. And then we um, also assign a flex direction row to the safe area. We will need that later on too. We need to have some data for our row view. I just created a contact.json file under source data. And this is basically an array of objects that contain a title, which is going to be title of one section in our growbar, and then data with eight contacts with a name and a photo. You can either do this yourself from A to Z and then just set contact one is no contact five to eight and then this address will just fetch you a random image with the size of 40 times 40 pixels. Looks pretty good. You can do this yourself or you can just go and get this from my repository on GitHub. Now we're going to import our contacts and save them under list. Later you can fetch your list from wherever you want from a database as example. Next, define a scroll view with a scroll view ref. We will need that ref later and a list length variable. We will need that one later too. Let's create our scroll view section with the header and scroll view items and pass that to the scroll view. Let's create our scroll bar. And our scroll bar item. And at last, I'm going to define some styles. And that's it. Let's create our scroll bar indicator. and include it. To carry further on, we will have to get the heights of one scroll view section and the height of one scroll bar section. For this purpose, we create a constant that includes the heights and use the use reduce hook from React. We then pass the dispatch to our components to evaluate the section heights. Now we want to know where on the scroll bar the user is scrolling or clicking. For this, we create a new variable scroll index, a number between 0 and our list length minus 1, that indicates in which scroll bar section the user is scrolling or clicking. We pass this variable and the section heights to our scroller component.
and use it and the gesture handler to calculate the value of the scroll index. When dragging over the scroll bar, we check that the values are inside the scroll bar and finally pass the gesture handler to our component. To make the scroll bar indicator responsive, we pass the section heights to the indicator and transform our styles based on the height of the scroll bar section. To make the scroll bar indicator move based on our gestures, we pass the scroll index to the indicator and move it based on that. To add an active state to the scroll bar indicator, we are going to create a new variable and set it to true if scrolling is being detected and to false if scrolling ends. Then we define some styles based on the state and pass it to the component. To make the sections of the scroll bar move depending on the scroll bar indicator, we add a function to determine the distance between these two. Then we calculate the translation based on a stretched cosinus and pass it to our component. To highlight the focus section, we're going to add a function that determines which section is active. And then we're going to design the letter of this section to be highlighted. To make the scroll view respond to the scroll bar, we're going to add the to scroll function from React Native. Now the scroll bar works almost perfectly. The only thing missing is that the scroll bar does not move automatically when you scroll over the scroll view. To fix this, we have to listen to the on scroll event and adjust the scroll index accordingly. But since the to scroll and handle scroll functions form a loop, only one of the two functions can be active at a time. Therefore, we add a new variable scroll active to the functions so that only one of the two functions can be active at a time. To change the variable dynamically, we wrap the scroll view with a tab gesture handler that sets scroll active true when activated. Then we pass the variable to the scroll bar and set it to false when a movement of the scroll bar is registered. Now that everything is working, we still need to implement the types. That's the last thing we need to do, but this is basically my type file and these are all the types that are in there you can just implement them where you need them to that should be it if you have anything that you want me to in tutorial about let me know and if you have any problems uh, let me know too